and I know y'all are like, girl, what is going on in today's video? Today's video, I wanted to just come on here and just actually share with you guys how I created my slick down look and pretty much how I do it each and every time. And as you guys can see, I had my scarf on so that way I could preserve it so that way I could actually come on here and explain and actually show you guys how I'm going to actually simply recreate the same style. So... The products that I use are simple. I only use water. And then for anything, anytime I do like a slick down style, I always use the Allocate Naturals Aloe Berry Styling Gel. And y'all know this has been like a ride or die for a long time now. This is like my third one. And I just absolutely love it. It's a lightweight formula. But believe me, um, in conjunction with like a little bit of mousse, and you will definitely have the superb hold that you're looking for. So definitely, definitely, if you're looking for a styling gel that doesn't flake up or create any kind of product buildup on your hair or anything like that and even residue this one in particular I would highly recommend again from Allocate Naturals. Moving on in conjunction again with the aloe berry styling gel I like to use the UB Natural Botanical Curl Perfect Forming Mousse. Now before I did my actual review with my um, successful second prime rod set if you haven't seen that video I will leave it linked up above. Um, I had actually been using this for all of my previous slick down styles so anytime you guys saw me wearing like a low bun or a top knot or whatever the case may be I've always used this product here. So I will actually leave my review linked up above and below so that way you guys can actually see how this product works but I love this one in conjunction with the aloe berry styling gel because again it just gives me the ultimate hold so for my edges um I'm going to be using the new um luster's pink shea butter and coconut oil smooth and hold edge gel I have simply just fallen in love with this one I like the texture of it this one does give a good hold a strong hold i feel it doesn't create any kind of buildup or anything like that and in the packaging it does feel like gem but when you put, apply it onto your hair it's a cross between the silk elements edge gel and as well as the eden body works edge gel so if you're wanting a comparison then that's the comparison but i really do like this one and i did take a little bit of it and massage it between my hands i mean just like a dime size amount and did like that evenly so my whole palm can be covered and I did like that and that was it and I was good to go and then for moisture because of course my hair was stretched and I did do this style on old hair I went in with the shea butter coconut oil moisturizing hair milk if you have not seen my wash day review or my initial unboxing I highly recommend that you watch it because it's very detailed in how each product works and the ingredients it includes and how to actually use them in conjunction with all the other products in the actual collection but I love this one and so to start off I had my hair in four sections you guys and again my hair was about four days old from a previous style again from using the new luster pink collection and then I put my hair in four sections I lightly misted each section with water I mean very very lightly because I didn't want my hair to revert back and then I went in with a I would say probably like a quarter size amount of the moisturizing hair milk I smoothed that through I further detangled with my wide tooth comb y'all know my ride or die wide tooth comb and then I followed that using my um texture pro detangler brush here and you guys know I only primarily use this tool really for just helping to smooth down my hair so that's exactly what we're going to do today and again my hair is still stretched so I just want to share with you guys pretty much how I created this style and if you guys are interested then continue watching
doing some dress. I'm going to an interview today, so y'all wish me luck. Wish me luck. But I wanted to show you guys what my hair looks like before I actually step out the door. Try <sighs> to make sure I don't mess up my little button bun in the back. This is what my hair looks like. Okay, and then here's this side. And of course, naturally, if you want your hair to lay, you know, for sure, for sure down and secure, the only thing you have to do is just leave your scarf on a little bit longer. Yeah, you guys, so these are my results. Again, I'm going to put my scarf back on so that way my hair can remain laid down before I go to this interview. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, this is nothing more than my little simple bun. <laughs> this is a simple bun, you guys. And again, you don't even have to tuck the ends if you don't want to. You can leave them down just like I did in my picture over on Instagram. If you guys didn't see it, I'll insert it here. One simple two strand twist and I just made sure I detangled the hell out of it make sure it was smooth down and then I just pretty much twisted it down to the end evenly all the way down to the very end so that way I wouldn't have to secure with the rubber band and y'all and y'all I went about the whole day and my hair was fine and secured but as you guys can see I have no product build up whatsoever again I do this method all the time I mean literally even when I do my two mini buns down to the back the exact same thing so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video queens if you did please make sure to give this video a thumbs up then definitely make sure that you are subscribed if you haven't because if you're not subscribed i don't know why you're not so go ahead and join the family and leave me a comment down below so that way we can get a conversation going and so that way i can also get to know you guys a little bit better as well okay so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today queens and i'll see you guys in my next video Mwah! bye you guys